Part 2 of Patagonia trekking with Intrepid Travel continues as we head into the French Valley. This is suddenly Alright guys, we have reached uh, the top or I guess end point, well not, technically it's not the end point, um, but it's the summit of where we are going today. This is the Francis Glacier. It's pretty incredible. Um, little bits of glacier keep falling off it. It's really really cool because it sounds like thunder when it does fall. <laughs> Although it's actually just glacier falling, which is crazy to think about. Anyways, um, we are all, as you can see, having a lovely lunch break. Well, it's like a snack break, because I think, I don't really know when lunch was. I think we had like an earlier break that was lunch. Anyways, regardless, here is the mountain we climbed today. Well, I mean, this is the mountain we climbed today. This is where we came from. So yes, I hiked a mountain today. It was a lot of work and I'm very sweaty. But it's really cool because we're gonna see that. And we're gonna see that. And we're gonna see that. So, you know, worth it. Sad for her, but an order is an order. She was a prisoner there in the light. She stood, but she knew they couldn't break her. And now we go back down. It is raining today. Which is okay because today is actually transport day. So there's not actually really any hiking aside from a one hour quick hike to a viewpoint. Um, but basically we are switching camps. And right now we're just at the cafe near the catamaran waiting for a bus to depart. Waiting for a bus to depart. Oh, the catamaran! Yay! Okay. Catamaran! Catamaran is here! Alright, that means we can go onto our bus! Vamos, vamos! It is still rainy. It is less windy than at our last campsite, but we've arrived here at the Torso Pine Campsite Campo, Campo de Torso Pine. So it's basically our campsite for the next two days. As you can see, slightly smaller than before. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Um, difference is, is that before we had a cafeteria where we got um, meals prepared for us. This time we're actually preparing it ourselves. So we've got these two tents for domes, as you can say. Um, so they're our own private domes for our group. And I think, let me show you. In this dome, we've got kitchen. Hola. And then we got this dome, which is chillax dome. Hey, Hello. Hey. Hello. What up, dome? Oh, gracias. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Y adentro. Y adentro. tomorrow from here we're at um, Refugio and Camping Las Torres. We're gonna walk towards the hotel and over a bridge and then we're gonna start hiking uphill to Refugio Chileno. It is uphill the whole time um, but when you go at a good pace it's kind of it's pretty easy. Um, so we get to Refugio Chileno and we'll stop there for probably about 15-20 minutes. Um, this next part you go through like a Lenga forest. It's really really pretty. The last hour is one kilometer but it's very very steep you're going up the moraine it's actually my favorite part because it's different than just walking uphill because it's kind of not scrambly but it's like between hiking and scrambly so usually to get up it takes about four four and a half hours and then we will turn around and come back down the last one 
last big hike. Last hike. One of the best, probably. So sleep well and be prepared. And yeah. That's it. All right, guys, here we go. My little slice of paradise. Look at my cute little cozy tent. Guys, this is serious luxury. Take a look at this. We got my sleeping bag. We got an air mattress. What is this? Air mattress and oh my gosh, is this a real pillow? What? This is super, super luxurious. Tonight, I feel like it's gonna be an awesome sleep because, do you hear that? Do you hear it? That's right. No wind. No wind. It was so cold last night. So cold. I'm literally wearing, look at this, all of my layers that I possibly own. This is not a horrible thing. This is a good thing because it was cold because it was a clear sky. And a clear sky means an amazing day today for our last day of hiking. It's a pretty decent trade-off because I'd rather be hiking in beautiful weather than hiking in like cloud or rain. Our fourth day of hiking, and our final large hike is the hike to the Torres, or Torres del Paine, right? The Towers. Um, it is the most popular hike here in um, Torres del Paine National Park. It's also probably the most difficult, well, one of the most difficult. It's like all uphill, but it's also the most famous. It's the one most people do. Buying an empanada here on the on the trek. Here on the trek. Where are we, Chilean? Chileno. We're at Chileno. And they sell empanadas. Mm, two empanadas. They were three thousand each, which is six bucks. Oh, Four fifty okay. US. Snacks for later. Now it's lunchtime and photo taking time. <laughs> 